All right, so I have got three of these forms done. And remember, we make the forms by loosely folding, uh, rounding them up from one corner, the opposite diagonal corner to the other. Okay, I have three. I want you to notice this tree trunk, or not tr this tree branch. This is like the pattern or the algorithm, I guess you could say, that's repeated in a tree. As it grows, it starts with a tiny sprout, and then these are going to, this course has been cut off, and, but if there were more branches, they would be the same Y. Do you see the Y here? All right, so we're going to remember that as we create this tree. Remember to use little tape, just two pieces of small pieces of uh, masking tape or even scotch tape's okay to do this. So let's, let's sort of kind of wind two, two together to make that Y. You can see the Y. I'm going to break these pieces in half because all you need is just a little to hold those together slightly because remember what's going to be holding this together? The paper mache. Paper mache is using a paste type substance that melts into the paper that, that you know, that makes the paper get solid. Uh, it's very liquidy to start with. There's different kinds. You can use glue uh, to do this, or you can use the things that they make for paper mache paste. Elmer's does, uh, which is what we'll probably use in class. Okay, let me make sure I got this tape. All right, so we got the Y form right here. And the base of our tree trunk, you can kind of form that here at the bottom and gather this up. We got a little more tape, and we can kind of put that together. Okay, so we can get our, get our base started here. All right, I got a third one here because many times the tree branches that's a three. Sometimes it starts off and each one of these, each one of these is going to make another Y. Let's just start off with two. Okay, let me get some more materials. Let's see where is the pause. Okay, the next, the next thing is to tear, I tore a piece in half, just rip it with down the seam there. And now I've got two smaller pieces. Remember the third one I showed you that I did of these? I wrapped it around this and taped it because you know the trunks are thicker at the bottom. Now I'm just going to loosely edit diagonal, remember? Diagonal, not. This is what would be wrong. Taking it and wrapping it equally around it like that. We don't want to do that. We want to wrap it at a diagonal. So you feel like it's the messy way to do it, but that's the strength way. Okay, you see that diagonal line going up? That's the way you want to do this. And it? And the paper just kind of crumple and tuck in there until it gets covering the tree. And then you'll put a few pieces of tape down to get your tree trunk in place. That way it's going to stand uh, stable. Okay. All right, so we have got two pieces 
attached and we're using halves of the half sheets now. Torn them down lengthwise that way. And then and remember anytime you use a piece of paper you're going to use it diagonally. So let's get this one ready to use. I'm going from this corner up to this corner but I'm just kind of messily, messy, 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 kind of almost like a braiding it up kind of feeling to it. Just making the paper where it's malleable. All right, and then let's try one more. We're going to fix this one around here like this. It's got a little bit of a pocket there so that we can tuck in another branch if we want to. Let's get that right there. Okay, I think I am going to make another uh, branch. Remember how, what size of paper I needed to make these? I needed a half sheet. Alright, so I'll tear this right down the middle. I got a half sheet. Okay, tell me what do I do next? You remember? Go from one corner to the opposite diagonal corner. Very loosely. There. I got a tube, but look how organic and natural it is. Let's look at it the other way. Y'all just gotta y'all got to get this down, okay? If I if I uh Roll it up evenly. Everybody's in the class would look the same. That's what it would look like. That's why we don't roll from the side. We roll like I just showed you because every time I do this, go from one corner to the opposite diagonal corner, it's going to be a little bit different each time. So that makes everyone's tree unique. Okay, so we've got this part of the tree ready. I'm going to tuck this down. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to tuck this down in this pocket because there's a pocket there because I, when I wound that around, I just put a piece of tape there. That's okay, okay if that comes apart. I should have probably put a little piece of tape on it first. When you have your, when you make these branch forms, go ahead and put just a piece of tape to hold it. See, now it won't just start coming apart. But it's in there. Okay. I want that branch to come up a little higher on the tree. So they don't we don't want them to all three look like they're sprouting out, three legs, okay? We want one of them to be a little taller. And to do that, sometimes what you can do is actually connect it to one that's already there partially and then let that one and then let this one keep growing. And that's what I'm gonna do. Just a little piece of tape right here. Hold that there. Okay, we're going to let these sort of sprout off their own way. So there's one, two, three, ready to start taking off. Okay, it's growing, has its twos, its twos, and then they sprout into twin. <laughs> Sometimes they sprout differently. Okay, you know how trees are. They're very, very unique. Okay, so if it bothers you to have paper that's coming loose like that, just... Put a piece of tape down, but don't go overboard with the tape and make it. I've seen people just tape, 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 and then when it comes to forming their tree, they don't have any. They can't squeeze anything because it's 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 in its form already. Look at that interesting little fold right there. You know how many trees? Time to trees have that. That's you know I like that. Yeah, that did that. Okay, so we started with whole sheets, rolling from diagonally from corner to corner. And now we used half sheets for the, these bigger branches. And then we attached a quarter sheet as they get smaller. So we're pretty much, other than wrapping it, if we needed to wrap it with some paper to hold it together, sometimes you can do that. You can go over and remember diagonally, anytime you wrap, you put paper around it, do it loosely and diagonally. Do not do it horizontally or vertically. Always do it diagonally, okay? That's the lesson. I guess I'm trying to teach you the most important one for today is how to do forms with paper mache. Okay, remember the progression of size. Whole sheets, half sheets, quarter sheets, and then we'll work our way down to just strips of paper. But here's a quarter sheet that I'm ready, if when you get ready to add branches to a smaller part, 
you've got to have something strong to hold those branches but you don't want it to be so strong that it pulls uh, the paper down so I've already kind of twisted this paper up to give it some uh, body some way to say it body and I'm going to go with this smaller branch first and I'm going to thicken it up diagonally wind it around and as I do that I'm going to also come around this one behind it so that it strengthens it in place and doesn't um, I mean, I'm using the advantage of needing to have that excess paper there and just using it to strengthen the tree. All right, you know what? I'm out of tape again. But as you see, I would tape that down. You find the best place to tape it, and you can use one piece and it holds everything. Okay, so let's hold it in place with your one hand. See why you always want to have tape ready? That's my biggest thing is to forget to almost need a tape man. Somebody pulling tape off for him if he wants to do that. Just do the tape. Alright, two pieces should do fine for, for a while here. Okay. Didn't want to lose my place because I like the way that came together right there. Put that piece, hold it, see how it holds it very easily. I went it up. I'm having to move it to make it diagonal. I had gone up uh, straight. And we don't want to do straight. We want it to be diagonal. Remember what what uh, if you do it horizontally or vertical, you're making the tree weaker. Okay, so, whew, so as you can see, I'm getting some strength and I'm getting some fluidity for this tree. Okay, now if I said, oh, I don't want that to be that thick right there, I'd have to just push it in, see, because it's like clay. All right, so we've got the base for our tree. Okay, so what we're doing right now, class, is we're making an armature. An armature is a structural form that you can, uh, the skeleton, I guess you could say, of the form, the skeleton of the form, and then you're able to put the stuff over it that's going to solidify your form. It will still be very lightweight, and it'll feel solid. All right, so that's next okay there there are so many ways you can make a paste this right here this is um it's elmer's art paste that we use this in class but when i mix it up it makes a whole gallon so i'm not going to mix it up just for this demonstration uh there's also uh even wallpaper paste there's this laundry starch there's uh, even where you can boil, they, they sell it, which are very cheap. Uh, you can boil your own laundry starch and make a thick goo to do this with. You can even use Elmer's glue with a, just a few drops of water added to it. So take your choice, your pick, and for convenience right now, I'm going to use this Stay Flow liquid starch. That's probably the most expensive. Um, it's about two seventy nine for that, and everything else, you know, I don't know. It depends on if you get glue real cheap or not. You might can get glue for a quarter. I've seen it several times. Okay, so here we are to baking the the strips. So when you tear newspaper to make strips, you've got to go with the grain. So this is when you do the vertical. You don't do diagonal. Look how quick they, I mean, they easy, they tear, and you go in a diagonal. You gotta find the grain, the vertical grain, the vertical with the paper. If you turn it this way and try to go vertical, it won't work. You gotta go vertical with the grain of the paper. Okay, so I have some strips here. Sometimes you don't want them too long, about like a, you can see, about these to start with. Or I'm just gonna let them go down in the pan, a goop. And this stuff has been in the closet a while. I'm hoping it's still going to work. How do you think you put on your strips? If I've been talking about something that you've got to do, how do you think it's going to be? Diagonal. So really, these are like pieces of tape. So you're going to put them on there and stick it down in a diagonal way. And each piece is going to stick to the next piece a little better because it's got the paste on it. Okay, so you continue doing that in diagonal X patterns until you've covered everything. 
And remember, before you do this part, you kind of squeeze in the form of the tree that you want it to be and use tape. And I've already done that, so I just want to stick with what I've got here. But after, when it's still wet, you can still push, and sometimes it tears the paper that's wet, and it's okay. Just push and form. And while it's wet, you're putting strips down, and like I said, they act as the tape. Just some wet tape. Okay, so I always, if it's a heavy paste, take my fingers and do this to remove the excess. But I needed a good bit to start with. Okay, diagonally. Diagonally, overlapping the others. Every time you put another one on, let it touch another one. Overlap another one. That will help it stay there because it, touching one that's sticky will keep it in place. Okay? So I'm going to continue doing this until I almost go, I'm not going to go all the way up to this where it's dry because I'm going to be adding some to it uh, also. But I just wanted to show you how the process of putting the paper mache on there works. Okay. Making a tree. Alright, this uh, tree started bending here, which is, is okay. You know, curving down here, but I wanted to make sure it stands up. So I've got me a, a piece, a half sheet, kind of got it twisted a little bit, rolled it, and I'm going to strengthen that by kind of wrapping it diagonally. I think I'll go from up there, down and around, and give it a little wider base right there. And I can always tuck some paper in there if I need to, if I leave a pocket. There we go. Now it's a little bit wet with some of this paper mache, so I will just use a wet piece of wet tape to hold that down, to lock that down right there. See there? Just like tape, except it's wet. Now my tree is getting stronger at the base so that when I do build these limbs out here, it will have some have better support. Now see as I turn now this tape is this wet tape. Yeah this laundry starch is probably too old to be sticking as good as it should be. So we'll have to get some more. Alright. But anyways I turn here I'm gonna turn it this way. You can see look how it changes the way it looks as you turn around. So when you turn your tree in a circle it should not be the same as you turn it because it's you know, there's three branches here. If there were two, it might look the same. Okay. So I got some, I'm just going to put a little wet paste on there with my fingers. Take a dry strip. This can get a little sticky. And remember to place them how? Diagonally. Going up in the bottom of the trunk. And I'm going to go upward and wrap it. This is a little bit long of a strip, but. Um, work with small ones if you have to. That is the way it's going to hold it. All right. Okay, y'all like this. This right here is what we're going to be using in class, this Elmer's Paste. And it's very, um, it's like clear glue, very thick, pudding-like type stuff. If you've ever used it before, that's what I'm going to have to make. This, is, this stuff is coming loose. We'll see what happens after it dries, though, okay? All right, making a tree, part one. Okay, remember to go in X's diagonally as you work on this, and don't keep putting um, pieces of strips of newspaper on there over and over in one place. Exit as you go up around, around the form, okay? Changing the sizes of your tape. Uh, your paper mache tape according to whatever it is you're working on. So when I'm working on the trunk, trunk, <laughs> my sizes of tape are wider than when I start getting up here to these small branches that we're going to have. And you get to more of the little band-aid size pieces of paper. Okay, I ended up mixing a little bit of glue with that because it just was not holding. It was just drying like water would slightly sticky but not enough and really this isn't sticky it's it's different a starch is not a sticky thing it's just a uh, something that makes something stiff and it holds together that way 
Okay. I hope this has been enough to get you started. And I'll see you in the classroom.